Hello guys, welcome to Silver Screen Recap Hub. Today I will show you the recap of the movie called Rare, Exports, released in 2010. 24 days before Christmas, an excavation chief, Mr. Green, informs the American, Riley, who finances the excavation to the mountain core, that he discovered sawdust deep in the mountain. Excited, Riley tells the chief to keep digging deeper as he hands Mr. Green a card for safety instructions. Mr. Green takes the instructions lightly and laughs it off. Angry, Riley demands the chief to take the instructions seriously. At the same time, Pietari and his friend Juso are spying on the men behind stacked crates. Riley has been handed over an ice sample from within the mountain core and gives a speech to the excavation team. He announces that they are standing on a sacred grave and they have 24 days to dig it up. Pietari and Juso head back down the mountain, through a hole they cut in the fence that surrounds the mountain. Before heading home, Pietari starts talking about Santa Claus, but Juso explains to him that Santa is not real. Curious about Santa, Pietari starts doing some research and reads numerous books about Santa. He discovers ancient legends about Santa being an evil entity. He also finds illustrations of Santa punishing naughty children in unthinkable and cruel ways. Pietari watches them from his window as the team digs for the next 24 days. The day before Christmas, Pietari's father, Rauno, is building a wolf trap near their house. Pietari wakes up and finds footprints on the roof near his window. Suspecting that someone has been on the roof, Pietari asks his father, if he has been on the roof. His father answers that it was not him. Later, Pietari and his father meet up with some other villagers at a large pen to round up reindeer. Paiparanen, tests the electric fence of the pen, and Rauno walks towards Paiparanen to talk to him. It turns out that only two reindeer show up instead of the whole herd. They head out to the direction the reindeer should be coming from and find all of the other reindeer slaughtered near the fence that surrounds the mountain. At the fence, they meet up with Amo. He shows Rauno the whole Pietari and Juso cut and assumes it's probably the excavation team who did it, allowing the wolves to sneak through and kill the herd. Meanwhile, Pietari finds a human footprint in the snow next to one of the slaughtered reindeer. With their village's livelihood at stake, the men head up to the mountain to demand compensation for the dead reindeer. When they arrive at the top, there is nobody at the site. Inside the shed, Pietari finds a photograph of a ground scan. Outside, the men find a gigantic crater at the center of the mountain. The group decides to head to Rauno and Pietari's place. Then Pietari shows Juso the illustrations he discovered earlier and the image he found in the mountain shed. He tells Juso about a tale he read in one of the books about a tribe capturing Santa, freezing him in local waters, and burying him under the mountain where the excavation team has been digging. However, Juso shrugs it off as a myth and leaves. Meanwhile, the excavation team is back at the mountain. After discovering a pulse in the cargo, Mr. Green urges Riley to call off the operation via radio. Riley assures him everything will be fine as long as he follows the safety instructions. However, as the chief curses the safety instructions, something pulls his men in a flash. All of his men are gone except for their yellow helmets. Suddenly, a barefooted figure emerges in front of Mr. Green. On Christmas Day, while Pietari is peeing outside, he notices the bait of the wolf trap his father set is missing and yells for his father to check it out. As the two check it out, Rauno finds a human hand, takes Pietari back to the house, and orders him to stay inside. Paiparanen, dressed in a Santa outfit for a village gig, comes over to help Rauno move the body out of the trap. The two drag the body inside the shed. While checking the body of the long-bearded old man, the two find a passport on him and read the name green on it. In order to get rid of the body, the two decide to cut it into pieces and tell no one about it. Meanwhile, Pietari disobeys his father and checks out the pit to find a burlap sack with a child-sized doll in it. Rauno notices the man is breathing. He is not dead. Actually, he starts sniffing loudly, the two realize he smells something. Rauno then spots Pietari spying on them and rushes out to confront him. However, Pietari runs away, but Rauno follows him and sees Pietari enter the vehicle of the local sheriff. Rauno follows them, hoping his son won't tell the sheriff what he just witnessed. The sheriff, Pietari and Rauno arrive at Amo's house, where he is claiming that someone stole all of his potato sacks. The sheriff informed them that strange things were going on and that other villagers had reported their ovens and heaters being stolen in the middle of the night. Meanwhile, Pietari goes to Juso's room to talk but finds a child-sized straw doll in his bed instead. The same one he found in the trap earlier. Pietari shows it to the men, telling them Juso has been abducted but the men take it lightly and assume that Juso has snuck out. Rauno takes Amo home to speak with the old man, since Amo knows English better than he does. However, when they get there, 
they find that Paiparanan has been bit in the ear by the old man, who is now sitting near the light for warmth. Amo tries to communicate with him, but he doesn't talk. Inside his house, Piatari calls the families of other kids he knows. He finds out none of the kids are at their homes. Feeling guilty, Piatari admits to his father that he cut the hole in the fence with Juso, which caused the reindeer herd to die and the other kids to disappear. Rauno doesn't understand what his son is talking about. Pai Paranan interrupts the conversation and calls Rauno back inside the shed. As Piatari follows his father inside, the old man finally moves and gazes at Piatari. Seeing this, Rauno pulls him closer to the old man and asks Piatari if he knows this man. Piatari tells him that it is Santa Claus and that he is the reason the other children have vanished. The old man walks and stares at Piatari, preparing to grab him. However, the men chain him up. After doing so, a voice is heard on the walkie-talkie, addressing Mr. Green. Amo replies that they have Santa Claus for sale. The four head to the airport to meet up with whoever was talking to them. It turns out to be Riley. As Riley steps out of the helicopter, he starts asking where his men are. Amo tells him they have Santa and demands $85,000 to cover their reindeer loss. In response, Riley demands to see Santa first. Examining the old man, Riley immediately recognizes him as one of Santa's elves, not the actual Santa. Suddenly, the power goes off in the airport. It's all dark. The helicopter pilot is dragged away and killed. Riley is killed instantly when a pickaxe is thrown at him. Seeing an army of naked elves marching towards them, they fall back to the hangar. Inside the hangar, they discover a frozen creature with big horns. The stolen ovens and heaters are turned on to melt the ice. The missing children are tied up in the potato sack stolen from Amo. Amo finds Juso in one of the sacks and frees him. Hearing the elves bang on the door, they barricade it with the ovens and heaters. Amidst the confusion, Piatari comes up with a genius plan and decides to use the children to lure the elves away, given they are attracted to the children. Paiparanan pilots the helicopter while the other two place all of the children inside a large net attached to the helicopter. As the helicopter flies away, the elves chase it on foot. Rauno and Amo plant the dynamite into the ice, encasing the creature to kill it once and for all. They saw off its huge horns to keep it as a trophy. Meanwhile, Piatari tells Paiparanan to fly the helicopter to the reindeer pen. However, the gate is closed, so Piatari decides to open it himself. He drops to the ground, opens the gate, and prepares himself for the elves as they charge towards him. Rauno and Amo drive away from the hangar and detonate the dynamite, thereby exploding the hangar, and destroying the creature inside the ice. Suddenly, the elves stop moving, as if they have been snapped out of a trance. With their master gone, the elves are aimless. The next morning, having contained all the elves in the pen, Piatari counts 198 of them, and the men decide to sell each of the elves for $85,000. Counting towards the next Christmas, Rauno and Amo clean and train the elves to act like Santa Claus and to be gentle with kids. Finally, the elves are put inside wooden crates with rare exports stamped on them to be shipped across the world. The movie ends with a crate being loaded into a large cargo plane, which is piloted by Pai Paranin. If you enjoy this movie and are willing to see more, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel with bell notifications on, so you never miss our future video, and until next time, thank you for watching. Take care and stay healthy.